Wow, go on, Massive and Crew, DJ Cool Breeze here once again with another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move your tidal metadata from one computer to another. So stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see here, I have a tidal playlist open up, and what you can see here is I have my metadata such as BPM information and key information, and also if I have cue points saved on a particular song they are right there so what this means is if I go ahead and sign into another computer with um, Tidal this metadata would not show up and I would have to reanalyze these songs again so a quick way to do that is for instance you have two computers one that you say a desktop computer that you normally would you know go in and set up your tidal playlist and analyze your files and then you have your other computer that you use to dj live with and once you sign in you will not see the metadata um displayed on those tracks in the playlist so the way to do that however is to take the metadata from the desktop computer or the the stationary computer that you would normally you know um set up your playlist on and analyze your files on so this is how it's done. So you would go into the um the home computer, which is the stationary computer that you do not DJ live with, and then you would go into the My Music folder. So you open up Finder, and then you go on and you click Music, and then you go in your Serato folder. So in the Serato folder, there's this folder called Meta, and in the Meta folder, this is there's a Tidal folder. So this Tidal folder. So you open up this Tidal folder. And inside there now you will see a whole bunch of um, XML files and some um, other file. You, I mean, you will see JPG file, which is for the um, the song. Uh, what you call it again? The artwork for this song. So what you want to do is select all these files, and depending on the amount of songs that you have in um, Tidal in your playlist it would be um, a bunch of files but they're pretty small so you can see here I have um, almost 3000 files so I have 2884 files and they're very small files so you would copy these items and then what you want to do now is um, on a USB flash drive you will go ahead and you will um, paste these files into a flash drive so in this case I'm just gonna create a new, a new folder right here I'm gonna call it Tidal. So what you wanna do is um, paste all these files into this um, folder. So once you have all your files copied over now, what you wanna do is on your DJ computer, you do the same thing. So you just go ahead and you open up your music folder. Then you go to Serato. Then you go to Metadata. And then you open up the Tidal folder. And those files that you would have copied onto um, a flash drive or any removable storage, You'd go ahead and you would drag those files into your tidal into your metadata tidal folder and once you open up your dj computer now all those files would show up in serato as they would on the other computer so that's how you actually share your tidal metadata so all the data is showed um is shown in both computers without you have to an analyze in each file over and over again and this is also a good thing because once you go ahead and you would um, set your beat grids in um, Tidal and set it to the files that would the beat grid information will be saved in the metadata as well so you would just go there and you would um, you would s that metadata would be saved every time Serata DJ is closed so a good thing as well to do is whenever you um do any form of new playlist and analyzation on the the stationary computer what you want to do is always copy the metadata from that computer over to the DJ computer that you play in public with so that way you will always have your metadata updated so if you like this video give it a thumbs up like subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content. Once again, I'm DJ Cool Breeze. One love. Boom.